Hey loves, you're officially tuned into Friendsgiving, a series on friendship brought to you by Subtombla Love. Hope you enjoy. And I'm funny. <laughs> Watch it, I'm not funny. No, you are, you are. You're Do you, I'm not funny? Honestly, you're hilarious. You're hilarious. Obviously, you're Stop. Hilarious. Stop. Obviously, you're funny. <laughs> channel my name is Shanice and this is my channel Subtombla Love as you guys can see I have two of my special friends with me today we have Shaquille over here and we have Deidre over here um, you guys have met Deidre before yes. um, in our, <laughs> our Jamaica Jamaica video and as well as the friendship. adult friendship video right. um, and this is my Belle Dell this is Shaquille mm -hmm. uh, we've been best friends since we were 16 years old um, we are very different. We <laughs> fight, oh. and we love each other very much. So this is my dog. I'm so glad she's here in this video. So uh, we're gonna hop right into this today. We've been talking about friendships over the series, and we talked about male friendships, adult friendships, and also I shared my story about my experience with my friends in 2018. So today we're kind of focusing on the lay days. And we operate in our friendships a little bit differently, so we're gonna dive into that today. Okay, so my first question for you guys, and I'm gonna pop in if I feel comfortable if I want to. Um, do you guys have more guy friends or more girlfriends? Definitely more girlfriends. More girlfriends? Yeah. yeah. I think I have like two, two like really good guy friends. Okay, okay, okay. What about you? I'd say the same, definitely more girlfriends. I think growing up it was about it was equal, mm -hmm. um, but now yeah, I have a couple guy friends that I can call like my friends, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but mostly the ladies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. For me, I have pretty much all girlfriends for yeah. the most part. Uh, I used to have more guy friends back in the day, but I have mostly yeah like close mm -hmm. friends, all the girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I'm a girls girl. So what are the pros and cons of having male friends? Mm, I think an obvious one is just getting the male perspective, like, mm -hmm. without having, not really the consequence, but when you're dating someone and you ask them a question, it holds a lot of weight, mm -hmm. whereas if you ask the opinion of your male friend, it's kind of like, nothing's really at stake, you don't mm -hmm. have anything to lose or gain, you just, you get the male perspective, that's, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's pretty much, I'm just going to piggyback off of what she said, that I think it's important for, because sometimes, like, it's obvious that we think very different than men. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to kind of like explain a scenario and they're like, like, why would you look at it like that? Yeah. Actually, yeah. he's saying, da -da 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 -da, yeah. and you're like, oh yeah. Oh, okay. like, I feel like sometimes like yeah. male friends are like decoders. Yes. Because sometimes I'm like, what right. are you saying? What's the kid saying? And then like, no, he just means da 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 da. I'm like, yeah. oh, I get it. Tendency to create this entire narrative. Yeah, we were having this discussion yeah, yesterday. Yeah. This entire narrative, we're like, oh, actually, when he said hello, he meant hello. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 So I feel like having a friend is definitely like a decoder. They yeah. really help you to kind of like, you so, know, um, yeah. And it's also good to like have some because I mean, girls are great, but. It's just to have something different to yeah. shake it up. A balance. No, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Just eat. Oh, so are there any cons? Do you have any cons for? Well, yeah, watch, watch, watch. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, we're thinking the same thing. I just feel what like the cons. I don't want to generalize, but I find. <laughs> So, yeah. no, no. Well, speak it. Speak it. Say I it. feel like with male friends, like there's always gonna come a point where, and this is not, I'm not generalizing, but they're gonna always want it to go further. Mm -hmm. I find like no matter how um, platonic or friendly or how many, how many boundaries I set, I feel like most of my male friends, some at some point, like want to go further or further. bring something up to hint at. That. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which no, I that's... mean, like, <laughs> not, when like, she laughed, when she started laughing, I'm like, I know exactly. It's not saying. a huge con because, like, it's it's nice to feel wanted and yeah, to yeah. feel desired and all that. But when you 
when you really just want a friendship, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, man, like now things are weird. Yeah, yeah like now it's awkward. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had, I don't know, I've had experiences like that before where like the line was, I guess, crossed, but I don't know, like, not, it was something that happened like all the time. Mm -hmm. So I've had friendships with males that were just like, we're actually just friends and mm -hmm. that's it. Um, and I've had like one or two experiences where it was like, hmm, like, are we more than friends? Mm -hmm. What are we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. like, you know, there's sometimes, in not all scenarios, but there is going to be a time where like that kind of comes up or that, that tension is there. Mm -hmm. And unless you address it, it's always going to be like in that the, under, yeah, that yeah, underlying yeah, yeah. non-touch topic. But yeah. then I think you kind of, like you said, you have to set that boundary where you're like, we're, we're just friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so <laughs> how do you find that we, as a gender, how do you find that we forge friendships? How do we rebuild our friendships to create them? Um, I, I think for females, at least I'm speaking from my experience, like we, um, through experiences. Okay. So like, say for example, like if something happens or like, okay, you go to a, a, like an event or a party or whatever, and someone starts talking about like, say you're really big on lipstick and someone starts talking about lipstick and you're like, girl, I use this matte <laughs> lipstick. I like, really? Mm -hmm. I started using this too. And I, I go to Nick and then this and this and that. And then you start connecting mm -hmm. it that way. And then you realize, oh, me and this person have a lot in common. Like, yeah, right. um, that's from my experience. It's like, I've gone somewhere and like, I've connected through an experience and then it kind of just grew from there. Yeah. And then you realize, oh, maybe like we just were like, just kind of like acquaintances, but you still, the, the friendship starts so from that. Simple, simple. Right. Right. Yes, I agree. I was going to say the same thing. Um, I think also support too, like when you, whether it be at work or church or like a social setting, you find that girl that you realize like has your back for no reason, like mm -hmm. you provide support. Like mm -hmm. you could be, like I've been places and been like sad and crying about a relationship and you just like, you feel this sisterhood from somebody who's like, girl, like I literally just had, went through a breakup and you guys mm -hmm. talk for like an hour mm -hmm. and you think to yourself, like this person didn't know me and she yeah. provided support and love to me. And like, yeah, I feel like with us, like we're not, we're not more emotional. We just show our emotions more as right. a gender. But right. I think because of that, like it, it leaves, uh, it creates the room for us to build friendships. Yeah, a little bit faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel too, because like girls, we, we love community. Mm -hmm. Like we love to be together. Yes. We like to just like let's hang out. Like let's keep yeah. you're groomed yeah. for like sleepovers and yeah. like we're gonna have a girls' day. Like mm -hmm. we grew up like that, so I feel like it kind of carries into like our, our adult life, yeah. just mm -hmm. in those simple ways. So like we mm -hmm. can be there for someone we don't really know. Yeah, you know we can. Oh my gosh, lipstick. We can build a whole friendship mm -hmm. all of a sudden talking yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? Like mm -hmm. it can. We can literally do that because we've been groomed to feel like hey, we need to build community at all times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How is conflict dealt among your gender? So among females, how is conflict dealt with? I think it depends on the female. Yeah. Like I, like with all my friends and all my family members, like my sister, my mother, like everyone, I think, of course you can try to genderize it, but I think conflict is like person by person, definitely. Mm. You don't agree, which is I good. Think, I think uh, from my, like, I'm getting better now and it's actually like thanks to her that I'm more vocal about how I feel mm -hmm. in terms of my emotions but like typically in the past I would just be like yo I'm like I'm good I'm, I don't want to talk about it I'll just leave it mm -hmm. and I'll let it sit and fester and then when I see the person like I'm, I'm, I know I'm upset with them but I'm not saying anything about it and then this wedge starts to yeah. grow between you and that person because yeah. you're not like being honest and communicating about yeah. your emotions mm -hmm. and it's her who bagged me up and was like listen if you're upset about something <laughs> talk to me don't yeah. oh yeah. okay i'm fine and you know you're not okay yeah, don't yeah. Do that. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. but like that's something that i, I had to like actually <laughs> develop yeah. over time mm -hmm. well no it's so funny that you say that it's because my friendship with you mm -hmm. and shay mm -hmm. shay is our our, our third mm -hmm. our, our <laughs> a little trio yeah um that's how i developed that from mm. them because I pass it yeah in this direction yeah because so speak just speak up yeah like, because there's times like I would be hanging out and I'd be like upset about something mm -hmm. and I'm like hey, like no you're obviously mad so just say like hey. and I'm like I'm not mad like I'm actually fine whatever whatever but mm -hmm. we built a friendship that we can be very like blunt yeah mm. say things that are uncomfortable mm -hmm. say things that we maybe 
I mean, you're embarrassed to say, embarrassed, embarrassed to admit, mm -hmm. because we value the friendship so much. Like, we already know what it is. So, like, why are we going to tiptoe? Because it's going to ruin yeah, things. Exactly. And I find that a lot of times, you know what I find? Mm -hmm. I find that with females, mm -hmm. a lot of times conflicts arise because of a lack of communication. A lack of communication. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and because we can be seen as more sensitive, we express ourselves mm -hmm. a bit more. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Sometimes it's like, oh, I thought you meant this, so that's why I did this. Like I find that happens a mm -hmm. lot mm -hmm. with females, and because we are, because we are always told you guys are so emotional, mm -hmm. and we're trying to be hard body. Yes. 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 So then you don't want to be like, you don't want to show I'm too much that. hard body. Yeah. Hard body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Toughy. Yeah, like good. you relax. Like, yeah. And it's like because we're groomed to like, or we were always told. Don't be so emotional. Don't cry. Mm -hmm. blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Then, when something's really hurting us, we don't know how to say it, or we don't want to say it because we don't want to seem weak. Or I'm not begging friends. Mm -hmm. I'm not, like mm -hmm. I work with so many young people, and mm -hmm. my students, even in my adult life, you still see the same kind of behavior. And it's yeah. like, guys, just talk it out. Like mm -hmm. we need to do that, and guys need to do it as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I find with um, with us. With we man, I also feel like just like jumping into your saying, like just talk it out. I sometimes I feel like talking it out um, is really scary. Yeah, because that means that you have to be vulnerable you and be honest. honest, right? But honesty requires vulnerability, yeah. right? And I feel like um, if you're, it's it's scary to kind of just put yourself out there because you don't really know. Like yes, you're your, these are your friends, mm -hmm. but like at the end of the day, you really don't know how that person's going yes. to respond. Yeah. Because what if I'm here, like, okay, Shen, you did this and this, or and I feel blah blah blah, and you're like, well, bleh, and you and you you behave a way that I didn't expect you to. Then like, yeah. now you kind of become reclusive because you're like, oh, maybe I should have said something. Da -da -da. See, you know what I'm saying? gonna like add on to that. I agree, it's like vulnerability. But then the next thing is like trust, because if you don't mm. trust, we were talking about this earlier. Mm. Like if you don't trust your the person you're having an argument with, mm -hmm. your friend, mm -hmm. that they're gonna love you and hear you out and give you the opportunity to say what you're gonna say and be vulnerable without shaming you for it or without making you feel the way. Mm -hmm. then that's like when the friendship starts to break up so like mm -hmm. you gotta be vulnerable mm -hmm. to have the conversation but you also have to trust that whatever you're saying your friend is going to be able to receive respectfully without like making you regret expressing mm -hmm. yourself right. and i also feel too like i feel like sometimes we have to also keep in mind that you sometimes respond incorrectly and mm -hmm. that's okay and sometimes they will respond incorrectly Mm -hmm. That's okay. Don't be afraid of a of a, of a, a tense intense response. Yeah, we're so That's afraid of right of I don't want to rile anything up. I don't want to. Yeah. No, sometimes <laughs> you have to rile things up yeah. for things to get solved, mm -hmm. and that's okay. But we're like, but if she if she rolls her neck, then, oh my gosh, okay, because right now what you're saying to her is annoying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she has to process that as well. Cause maybe it's maybe it's hitting her in a spot. She's like, oh shoot, you're mm -hmm. kind of you know. Tell me about myself, and she doesn't feel comfortable. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay to have that kind of response, mm -hmm. and then you guys can work through it after. Mm -hmm. I don't see any issue with that because, on both ends, with both my friends, I had a response from them. I was like, "Hey," but they're like, "You know, I was kind of a little bit, I did a little too much, or mm -hmm. I did a little bit too much." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we can, like, don't be afraid of conflict. Is what we're saying, and I feel like a lot of us we are afraid of conflict, and we have this, I'm mature. Tones, I don't have time for that, mm -hmm. which in fact it's not maturity, it's immaturity because mm -hmm. you can't have the conversation. Mm -hmm. And I feel like females need to have more conversation mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. Where do you feel you are weak as a friend? <laughs> <laughs> Where How are long you do weak? you have? Where, yeah. are you? Where are your weak points as a oh, friend? <clears throat> Wave a long list. Wave a long list. <laughs> Shut up, you're like, Ugh, gosh, like Where do you start? start? Yeah. This is a really like. I think one of these questions is a tricky one. Yeah. Um, I think that I have a tendency to jump to conclusions a lot. Mm. So, like, say for example, if I don't like, say if like I message Shen or like message another friend and like I don't like, okay, fine, I don't hear from them that day. Okay, cool, no problem. But then, then like day two rolls around and I'm like, Yo, like what's wrong? Like, what did I do? What's happening? Da -da -da. Then all <laughs> these like thoughts start going through my mind and I'm jumping to all these like unrealistic um, conclusions. And then when I hear from the person, they're like, oh, I was just busy. I just, you know, life, mm -hmm. lots of things are going on on my end. 
and has nothing to do with me. I always feel like I have it, like it's something that I did, mm -hmm. um, and that's something I feel like I have to work on and not just realize, yo, life, we're yeah. adults, we're busy, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, the other two, I can't remember, but I know, I know there's no. more, but that's the one that like I think uh, if I can like just picture and point pinpoint one thing, I think that's the one I'm struggling with the most. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, you can't. Yeah, pass it on to you. No, pass it to you. I don't know. I think for me, I would say like I know in general in life I value quality over quantity, mm -hmm. but I think like I can improve with how often I'm there for my friends. Like I feel mm -hmm. like. I have a lot of strong friendships that I'm like, oh yeah, like we talk like this many times a year and like there's no love loss, which is great. But I also feel like I can do a better job at like consistently being there for my friends. Mm. Um, another thing I think I could work on it, it's like, I don't know how to describe it, but you know when someone's like sharing something with you that they're going through, um, I know that I, I think I'm a good listener, but I tend to like always have a response to like what they're saying like oh yeah like a relatable story yeah like a relatable story not yes but also just like um yeah but like at least this is good or at least like i try to like make them feel better but in a way that probably can maybe invalidate what they're going through at the time because mm -hmm. i'm always just like okay let's be positive like let's think about the next step or, like you'll be fine or like you know it could be worse or and I think that like I could be more present in just listening and being still in that moment when I need to be there for them as opposed mm -hmm. to trying to always like fix or trying to always like get them to look forward. Like sometimes mm -hmm. they just want to be in, mm -hmm. in that, that space. place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And feel those emotions, yeah. That's a good one. That's good. Mm -hmm. oh, that's really good. Get to work, get to work. Um, <laughs> what about you? So I feel like my weak area as a friend is I f I don't know if it's I think it's a, it's a weak area for me personally that spills into my friendships. Mm -hmm. So I would say um, just always questioning, in some of my friendships, not all, questioning if the people are going to stick mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. That's always my thing. I think because I have abandonment issues, period. So I'm always like, are you going to jump shit? Are you going to? Like, I'm always like, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I also struggle, to be honest, with being as candid. As I should be because mm -hmm. I, sometimes I want people to do that with me but I'm like I'm not really used to doing that with other people in the sense or people asking me are you okay or does that bother you so people ask me just like what yeah. you know so I want I'm always like yeah so tell me what did I do wrong what can because I always feel like I'm the one in the wrong mm -hmm. so what did I do wrong how can I fix it how can I be better um, if someone's like what did I do wrong to you I'm like um, um, you know um, it was difficult I know Dina had a conversation this summer about some things I was really struggling with with her in particular and it was difficult. She like, why didn't you from before? And I'm like, mm. like I, I kind of mentioned it and like, you know, mm. so... She can brush it off. I was like, but yeah. I think it was... Yeah, yeah. and I guess eight. sometimes I just, if I mention something and like I feel a person thinking me a response, I'm like, okay, I'll just leave it alone. Um, so I think I have to work on that. Where do you feel you're strong as a friend? <laughs> Yeah, zero areas. Like, can you have one strong area, please? Can you have one stretch? I'm your friend, so you tell me. Yeah. Like, don't touch me in this one. Yeah, no, actually, you tell me. I'm like, what? Well, like, you guys both looked at me to go first. Because right. like, you yeah. started laughing, like, because hey, you know. No, I'm a great friend. Like, she's um, she's like, it's actually like it's funny that you ask like like asking these questions. It's really like awkward it a little because yes. you're like you ever think about this it's really awkward to be like i'm good at this and I'm yes yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. list out your resume of yeah. things that make you great like you're like mm -hmm. oh okay i think i've gotten better mm -hmm. at being there for my friends okay okay for, what does that mean like for like all of my friends so and not like do you mean like physically being there you mean like going through people's stuff or like um Support. Just support. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, trying to collect my thoughts. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're just like, <laughs> she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm hard and harsh, man. What do you mean? Hello, hey. She's like, she's like, no. <laughs> she's like, no. <laughs> like, like, can I, yeah, can I? Oh my God. Give me a chance. I'm here. I'm being there for the friend, like physically being there for the friend. Okay. So say, like, say somewhere to call me and be like, I'm going through this. Like, I, I. I really need help, or I need a ride, or this and that. Like, actually, like, I'm doing better at actually like 
saying, oh, I'm not doing anything right now, like, I can definitely, like, be there for you physically. Mm -hmm. I think that I, I also try to be there to encourage, to support. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I can't always physically be there, but, like, if the person calls me, I'll stop what I'm doing and listen. And like you said, sometimes it's really the person doesn't want to talk. They just need to like cry, vent, mm. scream, cuss, yeah. whatever. Yeah. And I think I'm doing better at trying to be cognizant of actually like being there for that person, even if it's just sitting on the phone and listening to them mm -hmm. crying. Getting better at that. Like I think that's one of my better qualities. Oh, and making them laugh. I think I make my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I think I make my friends. I'm not even like a close friend of yours or a friend really. Even. <laughs> die. Yeah. Like, die. So oh funny. I think I'm a really generous friend, I think, mm -hmm. in the sense that like there's nothing that I wouldn't do. Like if someone needs money, sure. food, a ride, like I'm just very generous with mm -hmm. my friends. Um <laughs> another quality. What's funny? I okay. <laughs> So really cuts me off, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I remember a story like that happened recently and like I needed Chiquel. Like I'm like I had I'm like yo. This girl was like, yo, I'm coming, bro. Yeah. Like 20 minutes, whoop, like pulled up to my house and we had to run a little mission and she just came through. Yeah. She came through. So she is definitely that friend, like if you just like, yo, I need you right now, this second. Mm -hmm. Girl, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Shoes are on, yeah, tied yeah. up, little cars up, beep, beep, I'm here. Oh like God. so yeah, anyways, a like, carry on. Yeah, my other one was just, um, <clears throat> I think I'm a very understanding friend. Like, mm. doesn't matter what my friends tell me or um, what happened. It could be, like, canceled plans or they're telling me something very, like, private. Like, I feel like I'm very understanding of most situations. Like, as humans, we all judge. But I think that in my friendships, I'm really good at, like, making people feel safe in whatever it is they're going through, whether it be they might feel horrible, they might feel evil or bad or nasty, whatever. Um, I think I do a pretty good job of like making them feel like it's okay, like mm -hmm. I understand and like you don't feel like there's something wrong with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think um, I think my strength is a friend. Um, honestly, I think I'm a good friend. I must say, I'm not gonna be like, oh, I don't know. I know I have a good friend. <laughs> I'm not gonna say, 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 I'm not gonna i am not like i am a friend i am there mm -hmm. i'm there um, I'm there, like, and I feel like because that's just how I how I've always been. You guys know from my first video I mentioned, like, I've been that my whole life. So there was a point where I had to kind of back up a little bit and like just regroup. But I am someone who'll be in your eyeball. I will be <laughs> there. So like, if Shikha tells me something or he tells me something, more so Shikha because she's more so like the hard body one. She's mm -hmm. like, don't have to call me in the week. I will be fine. Mm -hmm. you don't have to call me again. Mm -hmm. Like it's okay. I'm good. I'm like I'm gonna call you anyways because I'm gonna make sure. Da -da. She's like. Should I get that? You don't have to call me. It's, I, I I feel your support. Feel your love. I really do. I I know really that you support here. I would say I'm I'm there, and I'm loving. Like I'm I'm loving towards my friends. They know I love them. I, I'm very nurturing. Send prayers at any point. Mm -hmm. Can you pray for me? I'm praying for you right now. Like drop what I'm doing. I'm gonna pray for you. I feel like I'm I'm good at just being there, making my friends feel loved and comfortable <clears throat> even if i have new friends that come in my space you're gonna feel like we've known each other forever like i want everyone mm -hmm. to feel like oh relaxed mm -hmm. and because mm -hmm. we all know what it feels like to be in a space where you're like huh, you don't feel comfortable you don't mm -hmm. feel relaxed the person doesn't make you feel you know warm yeah i'm good at doing that with with my my friends mm -hmm. and just being there for them and i'm and i'm funny <laughs> What? You can't, I'm not funny? No, you are, you are. You're Do you not funny? Honestly, you're hilarious. You're hilarious. Obviously, you're hilarious. Stop. Obviously, you're funny. No, you're not. No, 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 you're literally you like the same people. Don't play me. I, it was just annoying because you said it and I'm just like, okay. Like, you are. You guys see how she does me? Like, hates her. Literally. Any woman to hate on me, she hates <laughs> on me. She's nah, like, you're she's funny. always gonna humble me all the time. But the thing yeah, yeah. is, like, cool. you're funny, but half of the time you're funny to me, it's like you're teasing me, so I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be sour about it. Uh, <laughs> like, you're always funny. getting she's like, yeah, she just Our conversations me. are just us that we make fun of each other. We just cuss each other. And then D and I, our conversations are literally laughing at others. 
what I'm putting in. <laughs> yeah! Like, we just go work and it's just like, oh, oh my god. god. And then her, I'm making fun of her, she's making fun of me. That's yeah, not how it is. But like, yeah, I think I'm a, I think I'm a good, uh, okay, whatever. I'm a good what? That's fine. Funny. I mean, yeah, you're, you're funny. funny. We didn't say okay. We didn't say words. We didn't say words. So that, 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 that was, 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 that it's a way. You have the debates. They say, yeah, yeah, it's a big thing. But we said support it. Mm -hmm. yeah. There for that. Mm -hmm. We can't be funny. Funny news or not? Well, I guess. I guess. Now, nah, it's always funny when someone says they're funny. Like, it's yeah. just always But you have funny. to just know I know I'm funny. Yeah, so then why are you asking me? Because why are you just like, looking at me like, look at me like I'm crazy? Yeah, I know I'm funny. You're funny. We both said it. Or are you? What? <laughs> you know what? All right. Whatever. Okay. What is the hardest thing about adult friendships? First of all, I think is actually making friends in your adult mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like actually getting to the point where you make friends as yeah. an adult. That's fair. And the second <laughs> is like finding a work life balance and like actually being able to like say, I'm working and now I've done work and now how can I make time for my people? Like I'm yeah. struggling with that <laughs> because I feel like I'm so concerned with work 90% of the time. And it's not that I don't want to talk to my friends. I'm just like literally so tired. Yeah, what you just said, that's why I said life. I feel like balancing like personal romantic relationships, your friendships, your work, mm -hmm. exercise, mm -hmm. cooking, like mm -hmm. just being an adult, like life just takes over. And yeah. then you want to, you want to be genuine about your friendships. You want to be like, oh, okay, like it's been a month since I talked to this person, so like I gotta talk to this person. I feel like with being an adult and having friendships, you're almost like scheduling things. So like mm -hmm. for me, I like I like to do everything like organically and genuinely. So sometimes I months will go by not because I don't think about that person once a week or like every day or once a month. It's just like I want to do it when I don't have to schedule the time in. Mm -hmm. But then when you're an adult, you kind of have to. Otherwise, sometimes yeah. you just like won't talk to your people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, like you got it. <clears throat> just, yeah, I would say for me, adjusting to changes. Um, mm -hmm. That's oh, that's been the hardest thing for me in adult friendships. Like my friends getting married and serious relationships, or moving, or just different stuff because of life. Mm -hmm. You know, we're getting older. I think that's been the toughest thing for me mm -hmm. is adjusting because I felt like some of my friends were kind of like, "All right, new things happening. Bye." Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah. and it's like, can I not? join you as a part of your life but then sometimes you can't sometimes you're yeah. just, you can't so yeah. i think just kind of accepting that that's kind of been the hardest thing for me okay, how do you feel about how your friendships have changed over the years i feel okay for me i'll put it like this i think i realized because when you're younger you have more time mm -hmm. when you're older like you say you have to schedule things in whatever and you realize a certain friends that were never phone friends Mm. So like you were with this person all the time. Yeah. So you didn't have to be on the phone. Mm -hmm. But then now you can't be with people all the time. You have to. And have they them. hate being on the phone. So then, yeah. so then the, the friendship, friendship? So, it dies. Uh, yeah. It literally dies. And that's how I, I see my friendships change. Because when you're in grade twelve or grade eleven, you can gallop back, go wherever you want, mm -hmm. sleep over, go for dinner, do it. Yeah. Be your friends, be their face all the time. Um, but then when it comes to being like when you're older, you can't do that. You can't. We have work tomorrow. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So <laughs> it's like, it's just, I think that's the, like the most change I've seen. I've also seen a change in the sense in terms of like realizing that not, okay, whoever I call a friend and her and I have this conversation all the time. In Chacal's mind, <laughs> I have a billion friends. You do. And we have, and I'll tell her why that's not true. And by the end of the conversation, she's like, yeah, okay, sure, sure, sure. And I'm just saying, I do, again, but like, right? Why are you defensive about having a lot of The friends? reason, this is a thing. She this says the thing. same thing to me, and I'm like, I, I don't understand it, because I could literally count on both hands the, the amount of friends she has. But I'm like, okay. Trust me, like, is what that, is that maybe no, 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 this like, is, this is, unless her definition she of walked friendship like, is, like, like, she knows you're like, have a small circle. Like, yeah. She <laughs> But I would say that like my idea of your friends is that bigger circle of people that depend on you, but they're not, they're not acquaintances. 
No, that's the thing. So you have a lot of friends. You don't have a lot of close friends. Maybe that five core people are your close friends, but you still have a lot of friends because you have another layer. You have your close friends. You have another layer of people who depend on you and that we see you yes. interact with consistently. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's Shanice's friend. So to me, you yes. have a bag of friends. But see, see, she didn't a bag of friends. But it's not a bad thing. You're I making like it's a bad thing. Hey, she and, always does this. No, like, but, and I get what you're saying. You do have levels of friends. You have different. Mm -hmm. In your mind, you know. But I'm saying people that I call my friends, like reciprocated friendships. I don't have a lot of them. Yeah. Right? Okay. I have people I hang out with. Those are my friends. They're cool. Or whatever. But like in terms of like, yo, I can call. Them. I can't call everybody that I call them. She called the other day. My bad. Shit. I can't. <laughs> but tomorrow she's gonna say you have a bag of friends. Because she's annoying. We have this conversation all the time. We actually do. All the time. She's like, yeah, yeah, fuck me! I don't. I don't. And you have to realize, oh, oh shoot. Like, I don't have people I can call. And that's, when, that's what I realized. When I was like in my mid 20s, I would go mm -hmm. a lot of different changes. I'm like, I don't have a lot of people I can actually call. Mm -hmm. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Because I, before I used to think, I have so many friends. I have a lot of friends. But then now I'm like, wow, as I got older, more mature, and I realized my needs as a woman, as a person, I mean, there's not the people I can really call on yeah. to support me or be there for me or you know what I'm saying. I do but it's always nice when you do know, like despite the number, because we don't we're not looking at no. um, quantity. Despite quality. the number, you know that like I have five quality females well, that you can mm -hmm. link, and you're like, this is what I'm going through. Like, all right, say less. I got you. And I, and I love that, but she just feels like I have eight thousand friends. <coughs> It's not that serious. I just think like, yeah, you have a lot of friends, but I will agree with you. I know that you have your close like circle. So you do Jeez. that, that thing that you want, you have it. Like you have your close circle. But you do, like, you, I would just say more than like I do and more than like the average person, your second circle who are still kind of like your you, people you can call friends, mm -hmm. it's, it's big. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. So maybe you don't have a lot of close friends, but I think like the other layer of friends that like maybe call you a friend mm -hmm. is is quite big. And I it's I admire it like the, your ability to like maintain those over the years. Like I think it's. <laughs> <laughs> it's she's like because I'm not sure the rest of it. Look at she's <laughs> being such a friend right now. I can't stand her. I can't stand her. No, don't, don't. Anyways, not. Not. how do you think your parents influenced your view of friendship? So like what a friendship is. How did they teach oh, you to man. be a friend? That's a good question. How did your parents in influence that? My I mom. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I went last time. I feel like I went first last time. Did Cause you? We, yeah, because we were saying about like, what's the hardest thing in friendship, so like you get to go first. Oh time. man, my mom, <clears throat> her and her girls, like they just had so much fun. Like I remember being young. And my mom was going out and like I'd be at the babysitter, the babysitter would be over and like they just like, like they had so much fun and I think subconsciously I mim mimicked that like when me and Shen and mm -hmm. Shay were mm -hmm. high school 16, mm -hmm. 15, 16, 17, we were just like, we had fun, we, had fun. Fun. we were just yeah. like, I would, we would, I would literally drive, we would drive from our high school, mm -hmm. drive all the way to Shen's school. <laughs> on lunch break just to like see her and yeah. go to subway and have lunch and then yeah. drive all the way back yeah. and like just did all these like little cool adventure stuff like i don't know we yeah. had a lot of fun we did whatever we wanted that's what it was we did whatever we wanted woke up what are we gonna do today like, yeah like, and i got that from from my mom like seeing her with her girls like yeah. all her friends were funny they were always be joking laughing and i think subconsciously i gravitated towards like women that brought that out of me as well mm -hmm. and um yeah, my mom never really like talked to me about friendships, but I seen how good of a friend, like whatever her friends needed her, were crying, called her, she was always there talking on the phone, mm -hmm. she was always like going to help them. Mm -hmm. I learned how to be a friend through watching her and mm -hmm. her friends. Mm -hmm. um, same with my dad, but I, I grew up like living with my mom, wow. so mm -hmm. yeah. My mom taught me about friendships, not necessarily like, like seeing it per se, because my mom is someone who she like has lots of friends and her sisters and stuff like that but she's kind of like more she stays more to herself mm -hmm. but my mom always mentioned two things show me your friends i'll tell you who you are mm -hmm. and so i'm very cognizant of like who i surround myself with and i feel very confident to say that i'm surrounded by women that are very educated that are supportive that are well-rounded spiritual so i think i've taken that piece of advice like and understood it a little bit better now that i'm older and then the other thing she always used to say was like, oh, old friends are like gold and new friends like so. <laughs> Ooh, we don't know that one. 
<laughs> Basically, she's saying cherish the, like your old friends and even though you're mm -hmm. making you're moving in life and you're making new friends mm -hmm. and you know life changes stuff like, don't forget Susie in the back because yeah. now you know you know Rebecca up yeah. here mm -hmm. always treat and that's why yeah. personally yeah. like I have that's lots of friends advice. that I've known since I was four I have a friend who I've known since I was four another girlfriend of mine 14 15, like literally mm -hmm. all of my friendships I've had for 15 plus years because yeah. I she's ingrained that in my mind that remember like you're, yes, you move in life and you make new friends, don't but forget don't friends. forget the people in the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what? <clears throat> My parents talking about friendships. Mm. I was always a social kid. I don't really <laughs> know. My mom was opposite of me. I didn't really see my mom and her friendships a lot. I knew she had them. Some of them, some of them were my, uh, my, my godparents or my brother's godparents. But my mom wasn't the one to have, yeah, girls night, all my girls over. She wasn't the one to do that. She would mm. go to work, come home. Mm. And she'd probably like call her friends or they'll call her. But it wasn't it wasn't like that. So I always felt like a weirdo how I was with my friends because I'm like, you know, well my dad is like my dad is my dad has um, an abundance of friends all the time. Mm. Um, and that same like making people feel comfortable when they're around you, I got it from my dad. When people come to your home, make them feel like it's their home. Like mm -hmm. that, he kind of taught me how to do that. Um, I say, Dad, can I have this person over? I used to plan, guys, I used to plan parties and barbecues <laughs> for no reason. Like, I was just that kid. And my dad would always be like, sure. Like, yeah. I would be like, absolutely, like, you know, like, have the time with your friends, do your thing, whatever. So I feel like my dad kind of taught me, have fun. Um, and, and he said, don't ever take people for granted. That's one thing my dad mm -hmm. taught me. Mm -hmm. Don't ever take people for granted. Just because, oh yeah, like you said, kind of similar to what your mom was saying, mm -hmm. like, it's you really know, there. just because you're there, there, don't like, you know, yeah. feel like, oh, I don't have to hit you up, I don't have to connect with you because you're always going to be there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't have that mindset yeah. Yeah. at all. Cherish people you have in your life. The question for you guys is, say you are married or in a serious relationship, mm -hmm. how would you go about maintaining your friendships? And also, what if your man mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily like one of your closest friends mm. <laughs> mm. what would you do i think that it really boils down to you like having like you see how some people have like date nights like they schedule yeah. date nights like i think you need to have like oh girls this nights. is my girls night like yeah. every wednesday morning at you know from nine to ten i'm gonna call her and then it's between you and that person like you mm. guys know this is your time yeah because you know, you, especially when you start having kids, mm -hmm. the kids, this, your husband, whatever yeah, life. Yeah. I think actually like scheduling, scheduling it time. will be is I I think um, the most effective way to make sure you have you manage your friendships. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we do that? Yeah. Oh, schedule? Yeah. You're so annoying. Of course you can. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Thanks, Dean. No problem, girl. Got you. Um. You I would just say like, make yourself available. Because, like, of course, like, scheduling time is important, but I think just what happens when people get in a relationship or they get married, they close themselves off. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So it's not so much that, like, of course, naturally, when you start something new, things change. Like, you have to mm -hmm. build yes. up what you're creating. So, like, mm -hmm. your friendship that you've had for 15 years may not need the same attention that a brand new relationship does. So mm -hmm. you're investing and you're pouring into that, but don't close yourself off just make yourself available so mm -hmm. that like hey if this person needs you or if you want to share something with them then it's not hard to do that the space is open mm -hmm. so I think yeah. it's just like sometimes we overthink things but I think really it's just like making sure that you're not ignoring calls you're not ignoring texts that you never mm -hmm. used to ignore like if this person's actually your friend that's good mm -hmm. just keep, make, keep things open make yeah. yourself available you heard me you know me yeah, yeah. 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 No, watching your ring you know watching your ring like mm, no just don't do that make yourself available i think for me it would be to have like sleepover still i know it may sound weird <laughs> but have like actual girls yeah, nights like at my so house sleep at like because no matter how, no matter what anyone says, no matter how even if you're you tough back, when girls get together, mm -hmm. sleepovers can always happen. It's it's true. Forty-five, yeah, yeah. Pick up, you know what I mean? Snacks, snacks, food, food yeah. like wine, 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 music, yeah. movies. Like no matter, like yeah. we, that is just a part of it's us. So, so for good. me, I think that would be something I would try to do. Yeah. Obviously, you cannot do that all the time, but that's something I'll be intentional about. Like once a month. Like maybe never once a month. Okay. Two times a year. Yeah. Two times a year. Okay, three. Three. Every quarter. Every six months. 
No, do like an intentional girls' night. Like, because mm-hmm. I also want my kids to see me in my friendships too. Because yeah. I think it's beneficial. It is. It all, it, our it friendships, is. Their, our parents' friendships influence us in some way. It ties into what she was, she was saying yeah. about her mom. Yeah, about her, her mom, exactly. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. And I want my kids to see that. Like, yo, your mom has a life. My, mom, my, my man's gonna like that. You mm-hmm. want to still keep that, that flow and right. keep your girls, have your girl time. Go mm-hmm. out, yes, but also have like actual girls' nights in the house. Mm-hmm. That's something that I would like, practical that I would do. What if... Yeah. Your man doesn't like when you're closest friends. Like this is like your girl. <coughs> like you know, like wow. That's too very bad. That's too bad. How for do him? You? Oh, like, <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the thing is, it's like I agree with her. you spent could be 10, 15, five years, one year building this relationship with a friend, mm-hmm. and he doesn't. Ha- she doesn't have to get along with your partner but doesn't it make it awkward though it does make it awkward but for me i'm not dashing away my friend because my man doesn't like her i'm not going to put them in awkward situations where they have to like i'm not going to force it there's people that do that like i really want you guys to be close and i want you guys mm-hmm. to be fine and they force it mm-hmm. i wouldn't force it i try to my best to keep them separate but I, I i personally to each their own i'm not saying this is wrong or right but i would never um dash away my friendship just because my man just like didn't like her if there was like if he saw something in her that was problematic maybe I, that would open my eyes that i can address with her that's mm-hmm. one thing mm-hmm. but to just 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 based off feeling like not like her i'm like that's your problem but she's mm-hmm. also not your friend she's mm-hmm. my friend mm-hmm. that's personally and even if he was my husband i'm like if you don't like her then we, i'll try not to have you guys at events that you guys are together but mm-hmm. this is my friend like I put, stressful, I put a lot into that friendship yeah. you know i think it'd be so stressful to have to think about okay like i'm going to this baby shower today shoot Annabelle is going to be there, mm-hmm. and so is Jimmy. Oh, like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, because mm-hmm. if you have the same circles and just like, I, but I, I also feel like that's, you. that's, sorry, I just think that that's life though. You're not going to like that's everybody true. that's around you. You're not going to like this person. Like, we can't pretend like we're in this cookie cutter lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. and like she said, you shouldn't have to dash away your friend because your, your man is not you know, not pleased with it. Like, right. be be mindful. Mm-hmm. You don't have to like. For example, like this is a very intimate setting. Mm-hmm. Like, I wouldn't be like, okay, I know he doesn't like Annabella. Like, let me invite Annabella and her man, and it's just me and my man. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. that's weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's weird. That's Annabella, you can't come. Okay, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Who is Annabella? <laughs> <laughs> but like if I'm having like you said you're having like a barbecue or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. and Chanel is with her man or Nisha's with her man this person's here this yeah, one yeah. Yeah. be an adult about it yeah, yeah. yeah. right okay. so okay. that's I don't, I don't know I'm not gonna it's, especially if my my brethren's had my back since 1990 yes. whatever and you just came in the picture I'm not dashing you no. don't get me wrong mm-hmm. obviously I love my husband I love my man yes. I'm, I'm committed to this that's why we're here but however comma this however, is also comma. this is a part of my life yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's good that's good no disrespect to the relationship no yeah, no, yeah. no I, yeah. I hear what you're saying I feel like we have to be mindful of that because that can be a reality mm-hmm. like, for sure if someone's mm-hmm. like I don't really like Mm-hmm. Your friends, and, and yeah. you can also not like one of their friends too. Exactly. You know, but it's also about just saying like, hey, like, yeah, like it's really not that serious. But I know there's yeah. some people who allow their friendships to fall or whatever because they feel, you know, yeah, you know, it's too uncomfortable. I like what Jaquel said when she she had mentioned like it's one thing if your partner is saying like there is something that your friend is doing that you need to open your eyes and mm-hmm. realize then that's a completely different mm-hmm. conversation. Yes, yes, yes. If you're saying well I'm gonna hold on to it because she's been there since da da da, but he's yeah. like but he's but she's talking crap about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold your bridge. Yeah, yeah. And he's like oh, yeah, that's so yeah, that's something yeah, that's, that's different. different. Yeah. That's, a different yeah. that's a completely different conversation. Yeah. But if it's just like I don't like her because I don't like the way she dresses or I don't like her, she's too bubbly, she's too loud, she's too chatty. Like okay. Like yeah, that's yeah, something yeah. completely different. Yeah, but yeah. if it's something like a char- like a characteristic or a flaw that you know it's gonna yeah. affect you personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I can understand that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. We're kind of down to the the end here. So um, if you guys can just share an encouragement for people of how to do, how to view their friendships, how to move in their friendships from now on, or things <clears> that maybe <throat> you're gonna challenge yourself to do more of now. Um, I would say. Um, try your best to be as intentional as possible um, like we discussed about life being busy and moving fast and all these things um, life is short as we all know especially in 2020 with everything that's happening it's very evident that nothing is promised yeah. so be intentional and make time for the people that matter because as I don't want to be dramatic but really life is short and you don't want to miss out on an opportunity that you wouldn't get otherwise mm. So concise. 
I'm like, that's the point. Me got long winded legs. Long winded legs. I'm just like, I don't want to say. Love it. Um, I would say be your genuine self, because that's the best thing about friendships. Is like you're bringing you, I'm bringing me, and like you're doing a disservice to the friendship if you're not being yourself. Because whatever you have is so beautiful. God made you to be so beautiful, and like you're adding all those elements to the friendship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the second thing I would say is just like have fun and make memories. Like mm -hmm. especially now during Corona, like we can't really like hang out with our friends or do mm -hmm. things that we normally did, but we have so many memories to like we have memories for days from like high school mm -hmm. yeah. that we're still kind of living off of. Yes. Yes. And so yes. in moments where life changes, like you say, like friendships change or like people get married or move across the country or the continent, um, you have those memories to kinda like hold the friendship. So just yes. like like you said, be intentional about making memories and just having fun do yeah. something like yeah you know you gotta be serious but have fun yeah yeah, yeah. Too. yeah. Mm -hmm. um for me i would say um be vulnerable mm -hmm. be honest and be gracious with your friends mm -hmm. like take it easy love that take yes. it easy i, I hit my yes. chest yeah. <laughs> That's a gracious for me, honey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah. Take it easy, man. I mean, you want people to be understanding with you. Be understanding with them. Like mm -hmm. people have things going on. Yeah. Not everything revolves around you. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and not everything revolves around them. Like, just be gracious with each other. Just yeah. take time. You know. There's a lot going on individually, so you don't want to be a burden to somebody or mm -hmm. stressful to somebody. You want to mm -hmm. be that person's peace, that people say. Mm -hmm. You know. So yeah, just be gracious. That's what I have to say. But thank you guys for tuning in today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, mm -hmm. D. Thank you, Dal, uh, for coming in to uh, be a part of this video with me today. Yeah, I hope you guys fun. were able to like, be like, yes, sis. Or yeah. <laughs> we make, make you think a little bit about some things. And um, yeah, love you guys. Bye. Bye.